going to be doing a little bit of Christmas baking, so I'm going to make some Toblerone cookies and some Terry's chocolate orange brownie. The dead simple recipes to follow as well, so I'm going to write the ingredients down in the description and I'm just going to take you through step by step what I do. I'm making quite a lot, I'm making a big batch, so obviously if you want a more normal size batch then just half everything that I do. So I'm going to make some big fat Toblerone cookies and you could just change the Toblerone for anything else like I've made it before with mini eggs, with Rolos, Rolos were really good, um, Milky Bar, literally just anything else. And I'm going to make some Terry's chocolate orange brownie. So again it just has Terry's chocolate orange pieces on top, you can change that for any other toppings. So I've done it with like cream eggs, the strawberry dream things that you get in quality streets were really good. Um, Nutella, doesn't really matter what the topping is because the brownie is so good and so gooey. I'll put like a little chapter thing on the bottom of the video so you can just skip to the brownie if you want the brownie. I'm gonna prep the cookie mix first because then we're gonna put the cookie dough balls in the freezer so that they stay in shape while we're cooking them. So they stay nice and fat. But because you need to wait for them to sit in the freezer for about half an hour anyway, you might as well make brownies as well. So the first thing that we're going to do for the cookies is chop up all the chocolate that we need which is the most tedious job in the world so I've kind of half done it already so I've chopped up my 200 grams of milk chocolate. The thing with this is it really hurts, it's so painful on your finger after a while of chopping. It's worth it to have the big chocolate chunks in but oh my god I've got a little bit of the Toblerone left to chop up. To be fair the Toblerone's not as bad as when I was chopping like mini eggs up because oh my god getting through that shell is minstrels as well they were probably the worst to chop up but they were really really tasty so I'm just going to show you as I go what is going on. So I've got the milk chocolate and most of the Toblerone is chopped up. You want big chunks Pot's done. We're going to beat together the unsalted butter, the light brown soft sugar and the white granulated sugar. I'm using an electric mixer because I'm lazy. Um, so once you've beat those together, you're gonna beat in two medium eggs. Once your mixture looks like this, you're gonna add in 600 grams of plain flour. Three teaspoons of bacon powder, one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, and one teaspoon of sea salt. And then we're just going to beat that all together until the cookie dough is formed. Your cookie dough mix should be very, very thick. And then we're going to add all of the chocolate. So we're going to add the milk chocolate and the Toblerone pieces. And then I just mix them by hand because at this point it's very, very thick. So just get in there with your hands. Try and evenly distribute all of the chocolate pieces so all of the cookies are nice and chocolatey. And then after that, we're just going to weigh them out into like 100 to 150 gram pieces and make up all of them. And then we'll pop them in the freezer. Toblerone. Mm. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop the cookie dough balls in the freezer for 30 minutes and then I'm going to take you through how to make the brownie mix. Okay so the first thing we're going to do for the brownies is melt the dark chocolate with the butter in the microwave. So we've got 275 grams of dark chocolate and 275 grams of unsalted butter. So just pop these in the microwave until they're all melted. Just keep an eye on it so that the chocolate doesn't burn. 
And while those are melting in the microwave, we're gonna beat together the golden caster sugar and the eggs. I'm gonna use an electric whisk for this. Probably gonna be going for about eight to 10 minutes because you want it to get really, really thick and creamy, like a milkshake, and you want it to kind of double in size as well. I'll show you what it should look like. This is ready now. It's like thick, creamy, and like a milkshake. So next we just need a very gently fold in the chocolate mixture, which should have cooled down a little bit now. airy and also thick and creamy. And then we're going to sit in the flour and cocoa powder. Try and spread it evenly across the top so you can gently fold it in. Bloody hell, I've made a bit of a mess there. But yeah, then you just got to really gently fold it in again. look like this. So then you're just going to put it into your grease uh, bacon tray or dish. There we go. I'm going to pop this in the oven for around 30 minutes on 160. If you are planning on adding one of the fillings that I mentioned earlier, such as a cream egg or an after it or something with that kind of texture in the middle, then take it out after about 15-20 minutes. Place your toppings in the top and then put it back in the oven for about 10 minutes just so that that filling goes sort of caramelized it's really nice um, but if you just place some chocolate on the top like me or nutella or something like that then just put it in for about 30 minutes keep an eye on it the key to a good gooey brownie is slightly under baking it and then popping it straight in the fridge to cool so you want to pop it in the fridge for about an hour and then it'll keep the scent gooey and chewy and it means that you'll be able to slice it really neatly once it's done. So, fridge. So now that the brownies are done and they're just cooling, we're gonna pop the oven up to 180 and we're gonna put the cookie dough balls in. And we're gonna keep them for around 12 to 14 minutes, but again, just keep an eye on them. These are best eaten when they first come out of the oven or you can just whack them in the microwave for like 30 seconds once they cool down. Um, me and Dom are going to do a taste test. Very messy. Oh, these are soft. Yeah, probably could have left them a little bit longer. <laughs> so good. Like still cookie doughy as well, that's what we want. They're the softest cookies I've ever had. Wow. So it's actually the next day. We forgot to do a taste test of the brownie on camera, so we're gonna do that now. But I'll so I'll edit this bit in. But this is actually different. <laughs> this is actually a different. Day. <laughs> this is not this is, the same day. This is not the same day. <laughs> The left or right bit? Left. Which one's bigger? The right. Right. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> Dom. Oh, you, oh you dropped mine. Dom. I think it best. Hey. Sorry. <sighs> I don't know why this is better than the cookies for the record. <laughs> Mmm. Chocolate orange is amazing. Unreal. Very chocolatey, orangey, just like amazing, would you say? Describe it in three words. Absolutely being lush. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, bye. Okay, have another one. Mm -hmm. okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy it and I hope you try them out because they are the best. If you did enjoy watching, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.